happy sunday everyone happy new week to everyone hope y'all doing great and you're blessed wherever you are welcome back to my channel and this is your girl yeluma today i'll be talking about the importance of having protected sex and this video is more for my young sisters back home african young girls cameroonian girls you know from the age group from 15 to 21 or probably above that but that's the age group i'm trying to focus more on because i feel like they uh kind of lost or in the shadows when it comes to the importance of having protected sex so back in the days when i was growing up my my parents never brought me like a single day when that especially when i turned 18 you know or, and i was ready to go to the university and to be out of the house they never brought me and my sisters and put us down and try to educate us about how life will be out there being a young girl knowing fully well that we will be exposed to a lot of things a lot of guys advan advancing you know train advances at us and how to deal with those things you know it, it was very important but we didn't know about it our parents didn't talk to us about it but it's very important that nowadays parents need to take advices and uh, the, take those kind of advices at heart and talk to their daughters about it because i i wish my mom spoke to me about it or my dad spoke to me about it but notwithstanding it is important for young girls to have protected sex the truth is people will watch this video and try to judge and feel like i'm trying to advise girls to go out there and have sex those are things that are beyond my control beyond even those young girls parents control but the the bitter sweet truth of the matter is young girls now are, are, are really really promiscuous sex wise you know so they are probably doing it just because the thing that it is it, it, it think it's fun it is it, it is it makes them probably better off than other people or than their friends or the arrives or something else whatever reason it might be they need to understand that when you get to that that kind of stage or situation where you're in a relationship with a, a, a guy if you're going down that road having sex with a guy it needs to be protected because unprotected sex leads to a lot of dangerous things that in the long run will make you regret either in tears or in other ways that you there'll be no going back and all you'll be saying is i wish i knew or had i known you know we were not told or explain the importance of having a condom in our bags as young girls how each time you you think that you're with your boyfriend and you guys are to have sex you need to be conscious to tell him that we are not going to have sex without you using a condom the use of a condom is very very important because we shame a lot of ourselves back home especially with the african culture and mentality we we we, we are so quick to point at fingers and see only the negative things it has made young girls even shy to stand in front of a pharmacy or go to a shop and want to buy a condom yes it that's what's happening i have people you know there are a lot of people who cannot stand in front of a, go to a shop and buy a condom young girls girls of my age group as well that the, that's the truth because all what you will do you will feel like when you go in front of the counter saying that you want to get a, a condom the people around you already their eyes are saying too many a lot of things already you are ashamed you're feeling like they will be talking about you they will be pointing your finger even if you might be buying the condom just to keep it for future use or for just for protection just to have it not because you plan on using it but just because you want to have it already you'll be called a lot of names people already be saying so many things to you you know but it is better prevention is better than cure when you have unprotected sex with somebody or with your boyfriend whom you don't even know 100 percent if you're the only person he's going to be with or who he's been with so many things lead you might have STDs, you might have uh, early pregnancy, early, early, you're a teenager, you're, unable, you're not working. The economy back home, by the way, is really, really bad. So many graduates leave in school, they don't have jobs. They are from very, very 
you know poor families where they cannot even help themselves darkness of helping the child you're bringing to this world protect excess is very very important it prevents a lot of things girls now back home don't even know that even if you're not you know you're not sexually active as a woman you need to check yourself constantly like every six months you need to have like a system clean you know you need to have your 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 your, 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 your uh, f feminine side cleaned and uh, you know away from certain things just being on your own not having not being sexually active every girl is supposed to always check herself like every six months many african young girls do not know that they and even if they knew they don't even have the money to go to the hospital every time to do that because it's costly now you've not even had a checkup your boyfriend he's not well to do as well he's not even financially stable he probably even if he is he doesn't even know that he has to also check himself you guys are having unprotected sex not thinking about the future not thinking that you still have to be in school you still have a lot of things ahead of you boom you have unprotected sex you have you 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 know you 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 carry on STDs. You you get pregnant, and because you're thinking, how would I take care of this child? I don't have money. My parents don't have money. Who will take care of this child? And so on. The next thing you think about is doing abortion. You do an abortion. You might not even survive doing the process. Young girls nowadays, even because they are scared to tell their parents about about the pregnancy. They try to go to doctors that are not even well experienced and they do crappy jobs and because we are from a country where most people don't care about what they do and all what they care about is the money a doctor who is seeing a young girl a teenager 16 years old or 18 years old coming to my hospital to my clinic to do an abortion should in his right sense he should be able to talk to the child ask her questions and find out if her parents are aware who else is aware he's not even experienced he does a crappy job he destroys a lot of things in her system tomorrow she's unable to you know to to, to bear kids or if she's lucky enough she, she 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 might bear kids but he doesn't even care about any other thing but just the money you know so all i'm trying to say is young girls know how to use a condom if you have to use a condom if you have to go down the road of having sex with your boyfriend or whosoever you're trying to have sex with i'm not encouraging you to have sex but if you should have sex if you want to have it you should know the importance of using a condom because it's very very important it leads to a lot of things when you do not have protected sex when you have unprotected sex it leads you to so many things already you're not having unprotected sex you, you leave and you're thinking am i safe am i not safe did i uh, was i on my safe time or was i on my safe time um i don't you you know it's just important that we should know the use of a condom every young girl is supposed to know why she should have a condom why she should tell her partner that before we want to have sex please use a condom because it's for my good it's for your good and it prevents a lot of a whole lot of other things ahead so People might be thinking, oh, Yellow Man is trying to advise Cameroonian girls to go have sex and things like that. But if you understand the reason, you understand the message behind this video, you will know that I'm trying to say that the use of a condom, the education of a condom for young girls is very, very important. Very, very important. My parents didn't tell me about it. Most African parents don't tell their children about it because they are shy away. They are shy enough to, to sit them down and tell them all the things that telling them is exposing them to go out there and just be promiscuous but it's better for them to be preventive than to just be exposed and you know go into the wrong arms and then the next thing is you're crying or you're, you're you're in regrets and things like that so guys if a water wise is sufficient and i'm just trying to share and say that i'm just trying to encourage that don't be ashamed to go somewhere to get a condom if you think it's necessary, if you think that you're going to be, you know, sexually active with somebody. Don't be ashamed. People will always talk. If you use a condom, they will talk. If you do not, they will still talk. So people will always talk. But the thing is, do the right thing. Use a condom. Avoid unwanted pregnancies. Avoid abortion. Avoid STDs. Because those other things are costly in the long run. 
have a great week everyone and do not forget to subscribe like and share and stay blessed everyone bye